Okay, so in this video, we're going to take a look at a rates of change question. Um, this type of question here would be probably among the hardest rates of change questions that you could get asked on the leave insert. So if you want to give this question a go, um, pause the video and give it a go first before you look at the solution. So the question says a vessel in the shape of a right circular cone is standing on its apex. Water is flowing into the cone at a rate of one cubic meter per minute. The vessel has a height of two meters and a diameter of two meters. When the vessel is half full, find one, the rate at which the water is rising. So that's the, the rate at which the, the height is increasing. And two, the rate at which the free surface area of the water is increasing. That is the, if you were to look down on the cone, the surface area of the water that you would see. And this is just a small diagram of the, the cone then as well. Okay, so let's uh, have a look at part one. So the rate of rising, which we could call the rate of increase of height with respect to time. So the rate of increase of height with respect to time is dh dt. Now, I know this is a rates of change question, so I know I'm using the chain rule and I need to split up my dh dt. So dh goes on one fraction and it's multiplied by the second fraction, which will have dt down there. So now I want to figure out, well, what do I put in here and here? So I put in the same thing. Um, whatever I put in here, I have to put in there to keep it balanced. And if I look at the question, I'm told that I have water flowing into the cone at a rate of one cubic meter per minute. So that's volume. So that's dV is going to go in here. So I have dH dV times dV dt. Now I know already what dV dt is. dV dt is given in the question, that's the rate at which um, the water is flowing into the cone, and that's equal to one one cubic meter per minute, and that's uh, that's given. So all I need to do now is find dH dV. That's the rate of change of the height with respect to volume. Okay, so if I want to have a look at something to do with volume, and I'm dealing with a right circular cone, I'm going to need the formula for the volume of a right circular cone, and that is V is equal to one third pi or squared h. Now I could go and differentiate this to get uh, dv dh which is similar to, to dh dv but there is a problem there I have an or the radius so I'm going to need to do something to maybe get or in terms of h so I only want v and h in this formula. So what can we do? Uh, we could draw a triangle here this would be like a side on view of the cone and it would have a height of two and a radius or a width of one and it's a right angle triangle and then if I went and drew in some line here parallel to the top line and give it a height h and a radius or now I have similar triangles I have this big triangle here with one and two, and I have this small triangle here with H and OR. And I can use my ratios from similar triangles to say OR over one is equal to H over two. So to get OR on its own, OR is equal to H over two. So now I can replace this OR here with h over 2. So let's do that. v is equal to 1 third pi times h over 2 squared times h. So that's v is equal to 1 third pi times h squared over 4 times h. I can then simplify that a little bit. v is equal to uh, 3 by 4 is 12. So that's 1 over 12 pi and then h squared by h is h cubed. So now I have the volume of the cone in terms of h, and I can differentiate that, differentiate that to get dv dh. 
So dvdh, differentiating this, uh, 3 by 1 twelfth is 3 over 12 pi h squared, which is equal to uh, 3 over 12 is a quarter. So that's pi h squared over 4. Now that's dv dh. I'm actually looking for dh dv. So how do I do that? Well, I just invert it. So I can say dh dv is equal to, invert this one here, 4 over pi h squared. So now I have dh dv and I already had dv dt. So I can now sub both of them in to get dh dt, that's the rate of change of height with respect to time, that's equal to dh dv, that's this one, 4 over pi h squared, multiplied by dv dt, which is 1. So that's just equal to 4 over pi h squared. Now, I'm actually asked in the question to find this rate when it's half full. So this is the rate at any time. I just need to sub in uh, a h to find um, the rate at a specific time. So we need to ask ourselves, when is the cone half full? Now you might jump straight in and say, well, if it's two meters tall, the cone, then that's when it's uh, it'll be half full when it's one meter, when the height is one meter. But that's not going to be the case. So we have to have a look at the formula for uh, the volume of a cone again. So that's volume is equal to a third pi or squared h. Now, if I find the full volume of the cone, then I can half it. So volume is equal to a third pi. Radius is one and height, one squared and height is two. So that's gonna be, uh, one squared is one by two is two. Two by a third is two thirds. So V is equal to two pi over three. Now I want half of that. That's the volume when it's full. The half volume or the volume when it's half full is gonna be half of that. So say half V is equal to a half times uh, two pi over three, twos cancel, that's just equal to pi over three. So now, I know that the volume, half of the volume is pi over three, so I can figure out what the height is of the water when the volume is pi over three. So to do that, I say pi over three, is equal to, and taking this formula here, just in terms of h, because I want to find h, not uh, not or, so one over 12 pi h cubed, so that's equal to one over 12 pi h cubed. I can then multiply across by 12 to get rid of these fractions, so 12 times pi over three is gonna be four pi, 12 times 1 twelfth is 1, so that's equal to pi h cubed. Divide across by pi, you get 4 is equal to h cubed, and then h is equal to the cubed root of 4. So now I can sub in the cubed root of 4 in up here. So I can say at h equal to the cubed root of 4 dh dt is equal to 4 over pi times the cubed root of 4 squared. So we can go to our calculator for that. So that's 4 over pi times the cubed root of 4 squared, and that's equal to 0 0.505 and the units for that are meters per minute. So what that means is when the cone is half full at a height of the cubed root of four, 
height is increasing by 5.0.505 meters per minute. So just over half a meter per minute. Okay, so on to the second part there, which is the rate of increase of area with respect to time. So the rate of increase of area with respect to time is dA dt. And again, because it's a rate of change question, we split up our dA dt. And we have a look and think, what do we have that um, will fit in here and here? Well, if we look back to our previous question, we already have dH dt. So it would make sense then to stick in dH here and dH here. So we would already know what dH dt is. dH dt we already know is 0 0.505. And now I just need to find dA dH. So that's the rate of increase of area with respect to height. So dealing with area, obviously the area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. Now I want to be able to differentiate area with respect to height. If we think back to earlier on in the question, I know that h is equal to um, or sorry, or is equal to h over 2. So I can replace that. a is equal to pi times h over 2 squared. So a is equal to pi times h squared over 4. I could rewrite that to make it just easier to differentiate then as pi over 4 h squared. So a is equal to pi over 4h squared. I can now differentiate a with respect to h to get dA dH. So dA dH is equal to 2 times pi over 4 times h, which is equal to uh, 2 into 2 is 1, 2 into 4 is 2, so this is pi over 2 h and now I'll bring that back up to here so dA dH is equal to or sorry dA dt rather is equal to dA dH which is pi over 2 times h times dH dt which is 0 0.505 and then sub in h, which was the cubed root of 4. So that's equal to pi over 2 times the cubed root of 4 times 0 0.505. So we'll go back to our calculator. We have already have that uh, 505 remembered in our calculator there. So we can just multiply that then by pi over 2. times the cubed root of 4. And that will give us dA dt is equal to 1.26 and that's square meters per minute. Okay, so thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just ask in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.